Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah and welcome to another Magic Babies video. I'm so excited to be filming this today. I know that this is your guys' favorite right now and it is really, really fun to film, but I just don't want to neglect my other series. So I've been trying to upload them in order trying to keyword. <laughs> I know I haven't uploaded Rags to Riches in a while and I plan on doing that soon, I promise, but a lot of you guys have been asking for this one, so this is what we're gonna be doing today. Thank you for all the feedback on my last video. I love your guys' comments. I love reading your opinions and your suggestions. It seriously helps me out so much. You have no idea. And a lot of you guys are so hilarious. Like, reading comments is probably one of my favorite things to do just because you guys are so funny. But yeah, if you missed the last episode, it was kind of a uh, low-key one. We just worked on the kids' skills so that we could move them out and move on to the next batch of magic babies. So I think the next babies that we're going to have, I'm not sure if it's going to happen in this episode. Fingers crossed it will, but they'll be vampire babies, Santa's babies, and I don't know if we should try for Grimm's Babies just yet, but maybe, that's a possibility. But yeah, welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for coming and joining. It seriously makes me so happy. We are on our way to 50K. I can't even believe it. Like, it blows my freaking mind every time we hit a new milestone, cause... Yeah, I just, I never thought this would happen, so thank you. <laughs> Alright guys, enough rambling, let's get on to this mystical motherhood episode. <claps> Woo! Okay guys, here we are back in the mystical motherhood lot! It is a very cloudy and fall day. You guys always call me out because when I, I moved us to mystical, or to uh, Willow Creek, I was like, I love Willow Creek because it's so bright and sunny. And there hasn't been a bright and sunny day yet in this Let's Play, so I look like a fool, but hey, it happens. <laughs> and I really want to find out if this guy is a vampire or not. No. No uni. Um, because I thought that he was, but I think he might just be paranoid. What'd you make? Monte Cristo's? Oh, here's the Apache's cheesy bread. Um, do we have a relationship with him at all? We do. And uh, I don't think he is, because... Uh, he's an elder, but because we would oh, there you go. oh, that's so cute. She knew we were talking about him. She's like, thank you for making those Monte Cristos. They smell amazing. Uh, can we ask him if he's a vampire? Because I have a feeling he's not. You know what? <sighs> Let's just check. Let's just check. I hope you guys enjoyed the mod video. I was getting a lot of questions because of this series of like what mods I use and how to use MC Command Center and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I hope, I hope it helped you. Um, okay, so I think it's like Sim Commands, Occult Commands. Yeah, he's not a vampire. He's nothing. So I was wrong. He's just paranoid. <laughs> okay, now that that's cleared up, uh, this is our main. Okay, cool. What's everyone else doing? Oh, they're all at school. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, hmm. You know what? We're not really worried about their grades, so I'm just gonna let them do school as usual and um, not get them all stressed out. <laughs> a lot of you guys didn't like Juniper's gold teeth, and a lot of you did, but I like them, so I'm going to keep them. <laughs> So yeah, that's that. And then um, I got some comments about Zerg's makeover, about how like everyone has these awesome outfits and he's just like stuck with the lame alien suit. But let's be real, if you download CC, you know how difficult it is to find good male CC, okay? So that's hard in itself, but finding good alien male CC is close to impossible. But uh, if you... If you have any suggestions or any like good alien CC, feel free to send it my way because I couldn't find any. I really couldn't. Xenon, right. So I think desperate for fun. Okay, why don't you um, play games on your phone then? Uh, what else happened? So I asked you guys who your favorite teens were. Sebastian won by like a landslide. And I think that's cool. Um, he's a... Pretty sure he's a popular kid. It's not really showing right now, but he is. Ooh, a date with Santa? 
I mean, our relationship, look at that. It's like pretty much full, so I don't think we need to at the moment. I'm gonna say no. We need to work on a relationship with someone else. Um, we have our vampire on lock. You know what? We should probably go to Glimmerbrook and introduce ourselves to the spellcasters. So one of you guys were saying that... See how much your comments help me? Like, they truly help me. <laughs> um, one of you guys were saying that... Um, uh, each spellcaster, if you have a baby with each spellcaster, that kid will have a special trait. Like with each of the, um, what are they called? Sages. Each of the sages give um, your kid a special trait. So I'm thinking maybe we should have kids with all of them. <laughs> maybe? I don't know. How do you guys feel about that? Let me know. Go, go, go. Travel. Through the portal we go. So the first sage that we see is going to be our first victim. Okay, here we go. And who's the first one? There she is, the Sage of Mischief, this love right here. Hello. Cheerful introduction. I know that she's mean. She's a mean sim, so this is gonna be kind of hard, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Wait, why do you have romance with the butler? Ay, caramba, chica, why? <sighs> That's gonna, like, make things very sticky in the household, isn't it? When I was talking about, uh, Santa being endgame, oh my god, you guys went off in the comments. Like, you were not happy about that. You did not want me to break Patchy's heart like that. <laughs> so I think maybe... Uh, maybe at the end of this series we will maybe have Apache and Brenna uh, wedding. I don't know. Let me know what you guys feel, think about that. This is going well. We almost know all of her traits. Who's this? Oh, it's Lilo. What the heck are you wearing? <laughs> Um, let's try some romance. Let's flirt with her a little bit. I hope you guys are doing well in this quarantine. I know that uh, Animal Crossing came out and a lot of the Sims community plays Animal Crossing. She took the flirt, guys. This is going well. Um, so yeah, it came out a few days ago and that's all anyone's been doing. <laughs> Which I think is pretty cool. I've been obsessed with it. Uh, I got apples. So if you have pears, let me know because I really need pears. Unpleasant conversation. What the heck happened there? What did she not like? Come back! Let me compliment your outfit. Okay, that worked. Share a secret. So I'm going to get her to use the bathroom and then introduce herself. To all of the other, all of the other, they're sages, right? All of the other sages so that she at least knows them. Come on, go give Mr. Silver Sweater a flirty introduction. Let's get that going. First kiss? Already? You're kidding. Is she, is the L anywhere around? No, she's not. Okay, let's see if this, this is, what? What? Is she? Oh my god, all we had to do was introduce ourselves to him, and we already had the first kiss option. I think he was just desperate for some attention, poor guy. Okay, where's everyone else? Morgan! Benaki! I think that's how you say it. Okay, okay. Go, go flirty introduction Morgan, and make sure no one else is around. Is he alone? Oh good, he's alone. Let's see if this works. Ooh, it worked! See, this flirty introduction... What happened? Why do we get negative? Oh, manners, okay. Um, see, the bar didn't go up with him. So we know some of them, which is good. Uh, I think... Are we missing one? Who are we missing? Oh, Grace! I'm pretty sure she's one, but I don't know where she went. But that's good enough for me. 
a maid cleans your house while you're away. Thanks. Hi, Oak. Welcome back home from school. Oh, you all have been home from school for quite some time. All right, so what were we working on for you? We were doing flower... Oh, we are about flower arranging. That's right. Um, well, you're at level three, so why don't you try making an arrangement? You have bluebells, so let's do daisies and bluebells. You go ahead and do that. Zerg is playing in some leaves. Nah, fam. We were doing programming, but I think for you we're going to do robotics so that once you finish building the robot, we can maybe have um, a baby with it. <laughs> maybe. Not sure, but we're going to try. Very cool. So come and tinker. Tinker at robotics station. What are your traits again? Are you genius? You're not, but you're a quick learner, and that's uh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. And then Miss Xenon, what skill are we doing for you? Rocket science. Okay, so you need to come out here and work on your rocket. <gasps> and then Sebastian, we need to change your trait because a lot of you guys were saying that his waterproof trait is uh, preventing him from using his tail. So we gonna fix that. Maybe we could find something better for Zerg to wear as well. Maybe he can dress more normal. I don't know. It's tough. Okay, so let's get rid of this waterproof trait and then we'll give him... Um, let me think, let me think. Maybe active, since he's doing his fitness skill. Alright, Zerg. He is extremely handsome. Like, you guys definitely weren't wrong about that. It's just, I don't know what to make him wear. You guys don't understand. It's freaking hard. All of my men's clothing is very similar. Like, I don't really have anything too out there. This is like the most far out piece of clothing that I own for CC for Sims. You guys, I'm struggling absolutely struggling <laughs> so i think that's what just well, what we're gonna have to do okay so sebastian where's your tail let's see what happens if he sleeps if his tail uh comes back hmm interesting okay well all love is a little our love is here in the bath How's your singing skill? It's good. So I think that we agreed on level five. Um, sing song. Let's get her to sing some pop. Can she sing in the bath? No? Okay, well that's lame. I mean, I guess. <laughs> uh, okay, and then Oak, what were we doing for you again? Uh, gardening, right? Yeah, you're way behind, so we're gonna get you up. And I'm actually gonna have you come downstairs for a shower. All right, and once you're done showering, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, he's done tinkering. Uh, tinker again. How are the plants doing out here? Okay, I guess research. Um, there's really nothing else you can do, so I guess reading a gardening book is as good as we're gonna get with you. Oh, you finished? Clean up? Why can't you sell it? Oh, she's sprinkling glitter on it. How sweet is that? You keep going, girl. Get that skill up. Let's do another one. Let's do more bluebells and daisies. This is actually so cute. Them in this little room. No. Walls up. I love it. I love it. This is a little bit childish though, so we might have to get rid of that soon. Patchy's just researching the plant in their room while they're sleeping. Okay. Everyone's asleep, but Sebastian is up for a very early morning run because he needs to work on his fitness. He is almost to level four and we're trying to get everyone to level five, so that's awesome. Ooh, Harvest Fest. That's fun. Okay, I'm gonna need you to go jogging again. I'm sorry, but... You are almost there. Nice, my boy. You're getting it. Now go and have a shower. Where's our house even? Oh, here it is. 
Okay, so Harvest Fest hangs. What's this? Garlic noodles. Bomb. So bomb. We have a new butler today. Why does it keep changing? All right, it looks like Juniper's mood is pretty good. So I'm gonna get her to come and sell this flower arrangement that she made and start another. Um, let's, we have bluebells. Um, so let's just do that. And then maybe Patchy, oh my God, Patchy, your hygiene. Oh my gosh, come take a shower. And then can you mentor her? Cause I gave him the mentor trait, but let's see. Look guys, I made um, Sebastian show his mermaid tail f on MC Command Center and now he's <laughs> he's having a jog <laughs> with his tail out. You know what's weird? He is a mermaid, but his mood thingy, it's not a mermaid. I'm confused, but Ariel's is. She's got the hydration, but he's got hygiene. But he is a mermaid, like for sure, because he has like this mermaid thing. It's weird. Maybe he's only half mermaid. Oh shoot, Zer got electrocuted from his uh, from the station. Yikes. Um, keep working on that though. It looks like Xenon finished the rocket, so now all she has to do is do the upgrades. Uh, what? What level are you? Oh my gosh, you're level five. So you're good to go. You and Ariel are good to go so far. Uh, two more for you, Oak. See, we're doing robotics for him. But we could technically just do programming and be done. Oh my god, okay, you need to stop. You need to stop. Um, yikes, okay. Let's just make a virus. Let's make a virus. I think that'll like help your fun, hopefully. No, it doesn't, even though you love programming, which makes no sense. Patchy, you could do it. Scrap this craft. Oh my gosh, she already maxed her singing skill. That is insane. Okay, wow. So you can, how come we can't do this? Wow, look at all these things we need. Okay. Um. Uh, electronic upgrade part, common kitchen, pretty much every single upgrade part is what we need. Okay, so in order to craft the servo bot, you need to be, I'm pretty sure you need to be level 10 robot, robotics. You need a bunch of common upgrade parts, which you can which you can order on the computer, which I just did. But you also need something called a computer chip and a mechanism. So in order to get that, if you want to cheat, you just shift click on this thing and then spawn crafting supplies, and it shows up in the Sims inventory. So yeah, that is all I had to do to get this going. So Patchy's gonna go ahead and work on that. Zerg is now programming level five. Xenon is now rocket science level six. <laughs> We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. And you are done with another flower arrangement. Look at how gorgeous that is. Time to sell it and do another. Let's do some Dahlia ones. Let's do, let's do deep purple Dahlias. Gorgeous. And Ariel's over here singing for everyone still. Lovely. How's your fitness skill? Level four still? Okay. Oh, Zerg released a virus into the world. This sneaky piece of software has already netted him $583. Wow. Oh, these can be harvested. And why get- Oh my god, your mood, your mood, your mood. It is pretty bad. Okay, why don't you just go ahead and take care of that? Oh, and Harvest Fest is over. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I just got a notification that it's almost Juniper's birthday. Whoa, okay. We've been playing for quite some time then, haven't we? Doesn't feel like that long though. They all have school, but I'm just gonna get them all to take a vacation day so that we can keep on working on these skills so we can move them out. Oh my God, definitely stress. Look at that, look at that pose. If that ain't stressed, I don't know what is. <laughs> uh oh. Oh shoot, 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 Brenda's on fire. Oh my god, please someone put her out. Hurry up. Wow, three people. Oh, thank god she didn't die. That would have been just awful. <laughs> we would have had to choose one of these guys to take over. All right, everyone. 
Back to what you were doing. Ben and a Genji spirit is fading away like anyone cares. Zerg is going through a phase where he wants to be alone. Poor guy. We're pretty much there. Dude, Ariel, you need to calm. Calm yourself. Taking a bath should help, but legit, like, wow. That looks like a cute outfit. Oh my god, really? <laughs> I like how they walk normal down the stairs and then resume their my life is over walk. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Aww, who painted this little painting? That's new, I've never seen this before. By Patchy, $656. Dang. <laughs> Mr. Jack of all trades, Patch of all trades. That's what's up. Look, he's almost finished. Oh, I'm so excited to have one of these. I've only ever seen it on the university campus. This is the one, right? This is the one that you may or may not have babies with. Excuse you. Ooh. Why can't you activate? How's, oh shoot. Dang it. $6,000 though, that's pretty dang good. So he's gonna take up a household spot? What's going on out here? Zerg and Ariel and Brenna just enjoying some chats. Oh, Zerg does not look like he's enjoying it. Oh, he's stressed from the fire and peeved from socialization. Why are they picking on me? Okay, go do something that you consider fun. Watching Patchy for you is fun? Okay. That's a little bit weird, but you know. Oh, okay, he's playing piano. Yes, who's calling? What is it? I watched you today with some new equipment. Can't wait to see what we do tomorrow. Right. Lovely. Ariel, it's raining. Oh, you probably like that, don't you? What do you consider to be fun? Watch Patchy. Okay, sure. Everyone just wants to watch Patchy. Senor, if you're so stressed, why don't you come out here and work on the garden? Why can't you ever harvest anything? Literally, gardening is what you like. Why can't you ever do it? Is it because you're stressed? Um, okay. This is what we're gonna do. Use the potty. Watch current channel. Get that fun up a little bit. And then have... <gasps> Get leftovers, I mean. Ouch. That freaking hurt my chest. Okay, you're feeling better now. So it's time for you to come out and take care of your planties. And look, your grapes are ready to be evolved. Okay, it looks like Juniper just reached uh, flower arranging level five. So that's amazing. So we can move her out now too. And she's so quick at making arrangements and they're starting to be worth a lot more money than they used to be. So that's awesome. She's ready, Zerg's ready, Xenon's ready, Sebastian... Not quite, but almost there, so why don't you swim some laps? Okay, he reached level four, so that's great. That's great, that's great. Keep doing what you're doing. I tried to get Patchy to mentor him in gardening, but it's not working. Come and work out, Sebastian. You only need a little bit more to be level five. Just a bit. Hey, what's that? That looks amazing. Okay, he did it, he's level five. So, the only person that we're waiting for is Oak. And of course, you're not working on your gardening. Alright. Uh, come and read a book. Did you pee yourself, love? Are you embarrassed because you peed yourself? Oh, what's gonna, what's gonna happen here? He did it. So, next thing we need to do is move them all out. Oh, actually, maybe we should do the picture thing before we forget. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna have to invite all the dads over, so it might get a little bit spicy up in here. Look at all this stuff we have. Wow. I just need a photo studio. So let's do what? Take group photo of Patchy and Oak. So we can only do two at a time. I wish we could do three, but we can't. And y'all know how glitchy this photo studio is, so fingers crossed everything goes well. Oh, <laughs> look at that. 
That is so sweet. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Before we take this, I actually want to set the backdrop to outdoor. Perfect. Okay, now let's take this photo. What the? Oh god, please don't start. Please don't start. Just work for me. Just work for me. Just once. I'm not asking for a lot. I'm just asking for the game to work. Oh. The struggle. The struggle is real. I I'm confused why they're not facing the correct direction. Like, there we go. Finally, am I right? <laughs> After like 800 million tries, okay. Okay, there's Patchy and Juniper. Beautiful. This is what I like to see. Perfect. They're so cute. Xenon is actually gorgeous. Boom, so cute. Should we have them in their mermaid forms for the pictures? Because we totally could. I think that would be pretty cool. Let's try it. Let's try it and see if my game is like, nope, or if it's like, yup. <laughs> so you go to MC, command center, sim commands, occult commands, show mermaid tail. Oh my gosh, his mermaid form is like evil. <gasps> that is tight. That is really cool. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yes! This is sick. Oh, why do you look so sad? This is supposed to be a fun time. Your dad sure looks like he's having a ball though. Okay, mermaid's done. Sorry if this is boring, but I just really want these photos. I want the photos. So I think that's everybody, right? We got Patchy, JC, and let's just call him Ugu for short because I'm tired of butchering his name. Uku. Okay. Cool. All done. So, now that that's finished, we can move them all out. Alright, so let's go to Manage Worlds. I hope every dad has a house, otherwise... I guess we don't really need to move them into the house. Into a house, we just have to move them into the same household with their dads, whether they're in the world or not. So, I think Oak and Juniper will just be in their house. Should we move Patchy out? I think we probably should. Just because we need more room and we'll have the robot. Okay, yeah. Sorry, Patchy. You can probably come back like later once it's over. Oh, see, I don't know. I don't know. This is hard. I'll give you guys some money. Okay, and then we will move them's aliens in with JC, wherever she is. Okay, there you guys go. That's JC. Uh, Y'all are good. And then the last ones are the mermaids. I can't believe it's just gonna be us and Brenna again. That's so crazy. Okay, bye guys. Have fun living with your evil dad. I hope everything goes well for you. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe we're gonna have an empty house again. I can't believe we're not gonna have Patchy. But I am excited to uh, activate this robot and see what that's all about and see if we can even build a romantic relationship with it. Because I've never tried. Okay, love. It looks like everyone is still here and that's fine. Oh, oh, no, they're all just fading away. That's sad. Where should we put the family pictures is the real question. Okay, guys, here we go. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, hey, who turned out the light? Rude. Okay, there we go. And I gave them frame colors accurate to what they are. So we got silver for the aliens, dark wood for Patchy's kids, blue for the mermaids. And then, I'm excited now for this new batch of kids. I hope you guys are too. Brenna, please get up and please come activate the servo. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Maybe we should get Brenna some new outfits <laughs> now that we are uh, onto a fresh round. Are you sure you want to activate the servo? Yes, I'm sure. Um, We'll do males so we can do the pregnancy stuff if it's even possible. I'm excited. 
<gasps> Hello! She's feeling inspired from it. Oh my god, you guys. You guys. Look at how happy she is! This is amazing. This is so cool. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Kiss- oh my gosh, okay, so we can get roman romantic with him? That is crazy. Does he need a bed? Or is this his bed? Get to know. Talk about dreams. She says, so my dream in this world is to have kids with every occult sim out there. What about you? What are you into? What is your life goal? Aw, huggies. Aw. Complain about Talk Like a Pirate Day? You sound like me, girl. <laughs> I love you. Compliment outfit. I love this blue you've got going on. It's great. Share photos. She's like, so this is this is all the kids that I have so far. I've done Patchy. I've done a mermaid. I've done... What was the other one? Alien? It's like, wow. Oh, he thinks it's funny. She's like, yeah, it's only my life's work, but okay. What's he off to do? Read Polka Dot Rumble. Well, aren't you sweet? This can be your bedroom. <laughs> he can actually sleep. Does he have mo Oh my gosh, he does. Fun social charge and durability. Wow, that's really cool. Okay, so I'm thinking we should do Santa's- Don't eat that! What the heck? It has clearly gone off, so why are you- mm, I hate you. I hate you. Without Patchy, you are a mess. Without Patchy around to clean up everything, you're a mess. Let's just make Lumpia. Go back to your roots. Go back to episode one. I'm pretty sure it was episode one where you learned this recipe. I want Lumpia so bad. You guys, I haven't had it in years and it makes me extremely sad. But hey, it is what it is. I wonder, can you cook? Do you have a good cooking skill? It looks pretty basic. Do you even have skills? Charisma and robotics. Wow, so this is like a full-on sim. Like, can we cheat your skills? Come here. Come here. Open your purse. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. But since we're going to create a sim, we can give Brenda some new outfits. Because giving outfits and makeovers in create a sim is fun! Okay, let's see what we got. So, this was her first outfit, and this is her second one. I still love these outfits so much, but to be honest, I'm kind of tired of seeing them. So let's see what else we could do. Okay, that shirt is absolutely adorable, but I'm not sure if I'm feeling it with the yellow. What are the colors we got? Oh, so sweet, so cute. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. That one or that one? There isn't really a difference. I think we'll just go with that one. And I've been obs obsessed with putting my Sims in Converse lately. <laughs> I just think it looks really cute. Not those Converse, these ones. No, these ones. I gave her a little wrist tattoo, because why not? And then let's change up this outfit as well. So let's see. Oh my god, this shirt though. So adorable! Okay, with these pants, absolute perfection. I would totally wear this in real life. Perfect, cute, so adorable. And then let's change up your sleepwear because I feel like we see this a lot and I'm getting a little tired of it. <laughs> okay, those are actually real cute, so we're gonna do that. Okay, these pants are so adorable. I just wish it didn't have those creases right there. I love these! I want to give her an outfit with them, actually, now that I'm looking at them. So we're going to add another outfit. But I'm working on her cold weather right now. Uh, oh, this is actually really nice. I think we'll go with that. The CC quality, though. It is good. This is from Dar Dar Dante? Darte? Something like that. Her hot weather... I love her hot weather outfit, so I think we might keep that one. 
Okay, I lied. I changed it. <laughs> I just wanted something different. Uh, so what were we working on again? I think that was it. Oh yeah, I wanted to give her another outfit with, um, those pants. These ones. Okay, there we go. Alright, and then last thing, maybe we should give her a new hair. I mean, she could get a blowout. She could wear her hair up. I actually really like the ponytail hair. Maybe not that one, but just like this basic ponytail. I think that's really cute. All right, new and improved Brenna, ready to take on the world. Should we change her traits? Maybe her aspiration should be something that has to do with family, like big happy family. Well, now that Zerg has moved out, there's really no reason for you guys to uh, send me Z CC for Zerg. Sorry, it is what it is. I hope you're on your way to clean that up. I really, really hope. Are you liking your new look? I hope you are. So once it is a so once it is a decent hour, yes, queen. I'm gonna get her to invite over Santa, and then after that we'll do the vampire, and then after that, I'm not sure. Wait, what does that say? After spending time learning about the world and gaining skills, Servobat has acquired enough knowledge to enhance his core systems. Servo can enhance himself, or a sim with high robotic skill can do it for him. Okay, cool. Okay, well why don't you do that? Yay! Look at you all clean and ready for the world. You're gonna go have a nap? Why don't you come nap over here on this couch? All right, it is 7 a.m. Clement, bright and early, we're gonna invite you over. Hi! Come on in! <laughs> you have no idea. You got a big storm coming. Let's slow dance. Oh, they're off to woohoo before they slow dance, which is fine. You guys can get warmed up, I guess. Oh, his heart boxers match our heart shirt. Anyway, what's Servobot up to? How'd your uh, enhancement go? Okay, you guys are all done with that. I want to see the slow dance um, animation, because I just got this mod. Come on, slow dance. Did you see the funny picture I tagged you in? Nah, fam, we don't even know you. Aww. <laughs> Santa baby, I want a yacht and really that's not a lot. I bet that's what she's singing to him right now. Enough whining and dining. Let's try for baby. Let's have this kid. Stop! Why do people want us to work for them so much? Is it our great reputation? What is it? I don't know. <gasps> you good doggy? Oh, I think you're still self-enhancing, still. Ooh, ooh, what was that? Enhancement level one. His system updates allow him to recharge 10% faster. Well, that's amazing. Get up, take a pregnancy test. She's feeling passionate from the slow dancing. My girl, my fertile girl. When they have the same belly. <laughs> Okay, so, ooh, clean up spoiled food, you nasty, gross. Yep, you should get going. You planted your seed and that is all we needed you for. Bye bye Okay, MC pregnancy, pregnancy phase, wait, hang on, offspring. One male, one female, and in labor. All right. Let's go have this baby at the hospital and we're gonna join you so we can get them birth certificates. And let me look at the comments to see name suggestions because a lot of you guys left them. I remember specifically, are you sharing secrets with her? No, just go have the kid. Uh, I remember specifically one of you guys, multiple of you guys actually saying uh, to name the baby girl Yo! Stop! We are here for one reason and one reason only. Please don't be glitchy. Please. Check in. Uh, Noelle. I absolutely love that name for the girl, but for the boy... 
Hmm. Nick. Uh, Nicholas. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Boy Garland. Here we go. Time for baby. Um, num num num. N oh, Cla Claus. Claus. Or Klaus. Claus. Mm hmm. I think we're gonna go with Nick and Noel. It just rolls off the tongue quite nicely. I hope you guys agree. Thank you for all of your wonderful suggestions. Okay, Nick and Noel. I'm so excited for some new babies. You have no idea. The first. And it's only fitting that they were born in winter and she has a silly moonlight from playing in the snow and now she has Santa's babies and they're smelly and I'm just so excited right now. Let's go home. Let's go home so we can age them up into toddlers and give them their toddler makeover. So I've decided to do toddler and then age them up to teens because one of you guys asked me, some of you guys are actually really triggered that I skipped the childhood phase, but it's like... And, and you said that, that, that I could achieve so much in that time, but I'm just like, what can I achieve? Because they can't work on their skills that they need to move out. Like, they can't do baking, they can't do fitness, they can't do all that stuff, so it would be pointless for them to uh, live out their entire, entire childhood phase. Let's do Charmer for Noel. Go away, Servo! Okay, and then for Nick, we'll do... Silly. Alright, babies. Let's have a look at you. I love this outfit so much. So cute. Alright, Nick. Oh my gosh, you've got gray eyebrows, just like your father. Perhaps we'll give you guys, like, gray and white hair then? If it's even possible? Okay, so here's what I decided for Nick's uh, facial look. I just gave him a little bit more freckles. I changed his hair. Do we want these brows? I actually didn't change the brows. Should we keep them? Aw, these ones are actually adorable. All right, now, what do you want to wear? I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of options for this. Like we could put him in just like a red sweater and it just goes. Should we put him in the elf outfits or the Christmas tree outfits? <laughs> I feel like that's cruel and unusual. <gasps> Look at this one. Oh my God, we have to do this. We just have to. I'm sorry, but there's no other option. Okay guys, Nick is all done. He looks like a little tiny baby Santa and I actually love it. <laughs> So here's his every day. I didn't bother doing a formal wear because we rarely see those. Here's his sleepwear, his party wear, his swim, which I did not change, but let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and change that. Um, here's his hot weather clothes and his cold weather. Okay, let's move on to Noelle. She got a gray brows too. <laughs> okay, cool. So this is what she looks like without any CC. She's got very, um, very adult features. Like, she's not like, I mean, she's cute, but she's not like, oh my god, like all baby cute. You know what I mean? I wish I knew what color Clement's eyes were. I want to say they were blue, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, this bow is so cute. I wish it worked with the hair so badly. I'm like tempted to find a hair that it will work with, but it looks like everything is going to clip it. Except for this one. That one works out nice. This one too. Aww. Aww. Oh my god, she's got a huge head. Or is it just me? I don't know, but we gotta do that. That is just too cute. And she's gotta wear a dress. There's a certain outfit that I have in mind. Oh my god, look at this one. This isn't what I had in mind, but how cute! This one too. Okay, it was this one. It's extremely festive. Like, very. But I have so much other cute stuff that we could use. Oh my god, the little overalls. Is there a red swatch? I don't think so. Oh, there's those. Oh! <laughs> She looks like a present. 
Okay guys, so here's Noel. Um, sorry for the lack of face cam. I've been recording for so long that my camera is overheating. <laughs> so yeah, here is her everyday outfit. I think she's super, super adorable. I'm very excited to see what she looks like when she ages up because she's pretty unique for a toddler. Um, like her facial uh, features are unique. Here's her sleepwear, her party wear, her swim, her hot weather, and cold weather. Okay, their makeups were pretty easy and I'm pretty satisfied with how they turned out. Okay, here are the new little babies that I am so excited for. They're actually adorable and I love how they're pretty much matching. <laughs> But yeah, so what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to build them a, oh my God, Servo's working out. Aw, sweetie, I hate to break it to you, but you can't build muscle. <laughs> so I'm gonna need to build them a Christmassy inspired room. Look who already came to visit. You just couldn't stay away, could you? Why don't you come and invite her in? So yeah, that's what I'm going to do before the next episode is build them a new room. I think I might... I don't know. Should I leave the bedrooms so we can like look back? Or should I just demolish them as we go and make them into new rooms? Um, it'd be kind of cool to keep them and then have like every single occult room on the house and then upload it to the gallery. But then again, like that's gonna take up a lot of room. But just let me know what you think. I like to know your guys' opinions. So yeah, that's gonna be the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to leave me comments. Let me know what you think. Give me more suggestions and all that jazz. You know I love it. And if you guys haven't already, uh, you should go follow me on Twitch because I'm gonna start streaming. I'm gonna start doing a special Let's Play over there. So I will link it in the description. If you guys like, that's going to be it for today. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.